Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. And in this video, is 20k VeChain enough? I'm going to take you through this. Hopefully it will help most of you understand if you have enough or if you think it's enough. It may be enough. I think it might be. Please drop that like if you're new watching. Give me a subscribe and, uh, well, the other way around. <laughs> if you're new watching, please drop the subscribe and if you're already watching give me a like that's the one you know what i mean <laughs> i'm gonna dive into this with you i'm not a financial advisor need to let you know that these are just my own personal opinions on the market so please always do your own research before investing any money that being said right now v chain's sitting on three pence just thought i'd let you know that three and a half pence in dollars you're looking at 0.49 cents this says v chain thought i don't know why they did that but i think coin codex is just that's just how they do it because i was thinking <laughs> are you sure this ain't v thor and i look down here they got v thor uh, little section or token thing here so yeah i think this is what they class as v chain they like to put the thought on the end but let's really dive through this because you know is twenty thousand v chain enough well you know when I look at cryptocurrencies, especially ones like VeChain, I look at the supply and I always look for another coin. This is if you're new, by the way, because people that have been in my, uh, been in my, been on my <laughs> channel know what I do in relation to staking or, or working out a cryptocurrency. I look at the supply and for me, the total supply can give me a very good idea as to how high a coin can go. And an example of this, well, I should have brought it up actually, is, um, well, I, Usually, if, if you had a coin with a billion, I'll start off with a billion. If you had a coin with a billion supply, and I can tell you this straight off the off my head, right? Coins with a billion total supply usually reach around 16 to 20 pounds. And Chainlink is a fine example because Chainlink has a billion to uh, total in supply. And right now it's sitting on 19 pounds. But you know, here you go, a billion. And, uh, but for a while, it was floating around 16 pounds or something like that, 15, 16 pounds, as you can see there. And I'll just give you another example with another coin with roughly a billion total supply. And then you'll understand where I'm coming from with this in a second with VeChain, right? EOS. So EOS also has, have a look here, 1 billion, 27 million in supply. And look at how high it went, guys. Look, look at this, look, 14 pounds. Well, it says 14 there. I know it went higher. I don't know why those charts don't show it at its absolute high, but let's just quickly come down here. Look, all time high, that's 16 pounds, right? So that's an example for a billion token. So when I look at VeChain with 86 billion, then I gotta look for another coin that's very similar and and sort of see where that coin is hit. And the only coin I could relate this to, which I've done before in my other videos, which you can see, and I'm gonna do it again right now, is X rp now i understand there's only 45 circulating but i also know once that all, all the tokens are in circulation have a look like 99 billion so 99 billion you know v chain uh 86 billion what i was trying to say is once all these are circulating for xrp you best believe the price may go higher because it becomes more scarce harder to get hold of they can't mint anymore they're going to be out and circulating and that's that and my proof for that right now is ethereum because ethereum circulating supply is fully gone like you know it was fully circulated the total supply is fully used and uh yeah obviously i believe they're going to be minting new coins when they start staking but as far as i'm aware this is what it is and it's out there and it's already reached all-time highs from what it did before last the last bull run you see even higher so this is why i believe this is what's going to happen with coins once all their uh, circle, uh tokens have been fully circulated but anyway moving back on to uh, uh, <laughs> xrp v chain i believe v chain can go as high as xrp did and xrp went as high as two i'll just grab it up again for you so you can see <laughs> what am i laughing for anyway i believe xrp went as high as two pounds 74 pence which in dollars is three dollars 84 cents let me just show you down here uh it keeps changing all the time look two two pounds 78 okay i'll work with that let me show you what two pounds 78 looks like in dollars two pound 78 oh why ain't it doing it <laughs> oh i put a num lock on there we go so two pounds 78 nope didn't put a dot <laughs> £2.78, you're looking at $3.88, okay, roughly, for, what was that, €3.22, €3.22, €4.16, Australian dollars, and what is that, Dubai, innit, uh, what do they call it, I don't know what they call it, DAE, no, I don't know, I don't know, you know, if you're in Dubai, you know what it is, I'm trying to show you all the different currencies you see, so what I'm trying to get at is this, if XRP can hit £3, or near enough almost three pounds. I've got to believe VeChain can do something similar. 
But I'll be totally real with you. I would be happy if VeChain just hit one pound. And I had someone in the comments go, oh, you always, <laughs> someone in the comments saying, you, you know, you always think the coins are going to hit a pound. No, I show you coins which I believe can hit a pound. Do you, do you see how many coins there are in the market? There's 8,000 coins. I have to sit there and do my research to look to see which ones I believe are very undervalued and, and decide which ones I believe can hit a pound. And that's how I work out how to invest my money. And I believe this can do it. And that's very realistic considering, you know, it's got a very similar supply to XRP. It might surprise us. It might go to three pounds. Who knows? Time will tell. But if this was just to go to a pound and you, and you know, if you have 20,000, let's see how much 20,000 costs today to invest into that today. You're looking at 715 pounds, guys. That's not bad. I always say the average person should be able to afford a thousand pounds to invest. So, you know, you're, it's 275 pounds cheaper, roughly. Than a thousand, and you're getting twenty thousand. Because if you used to invest a thousand, what would you get? You'd get twenty seven thousand nine hundred and fifty two. But let's just go on the basis that it's twenty thousand, because I believe that that could be enough for someone in the future. You know, the average people. Because again, if it hits a pound, that's twenty thousand pounds that you have. And I'll show you this in dollars, because I'm talking pounds, guys. Let me show you this in dollars. Twenty thousand pounds is twenty seven thousand eight hundred and ninety eight dollars. And let me just show you what 715 is. I'm guessing that's around $1,000. Because these are the things you guys need to see. Because I know there's other people watching. Uh, oh, it's even <laughs> $997. Okay, that's what we're talking. If you invested this amount today, you know, 820... I thought it was six, 828 euros. I need to sort my eyes out. What's going on? You know, if you had this sort of amount here to invest, you would get 20,000 V chain today. If you guys already have that, I'm not being funny. A lot of you guys should have that because if you look at how long V chain has been going for, it's been low for the longest, longest time. Right back here, 2018. I remember seeing this price drop. <laughs> my heart sank because <laughs> I bought it at 008. <laughs> And for me, that was cheap. And then you see it drop right down to 002. That, my heart sank. <laughs> I felt like Titanic. Okay, whatever the song is, you know what I mean. <laughs> There's a boat, Jack. There's a boat. <laughs> okay, I'm laughing too much. Shut up, Jay. And <laughs> what I'm trying to get at is this has been cheap for the longest time. So you should have had a lot of time to accumulate V-Chain. And even if you're getting in now, it's still a good price. You know, 20000 it's going to cost you 700 Even if you save your money over each month and pray to, God, pray to God that in the next two months it does stay low or the next three months it does remain low, you should be able to get your 20000 Some people may have it. This is why I'm doing this video because, like, it's, it's, it's very realistic for the average person to receive uh, or to, to achieve 20000 as a goal. So let's just have a look at the V4 side, because a lot of you are probably, probably thinking, well, you get V4 for staking it, V4. Now, this is how I believe it works, and well, this is how I know it works for me. I have a ledger, and I put my V chain on my ledger, and from the moment I put it on my ledger, it starts creating V4. There's an app that you can download on your laptop, I think it's called, called V Chain Sync. You'll have to look into it. Let me see if I can make, get a little bubble pop up here. Hold on, let me see. Uh, does this show it? Hold on, I'm just looking on my laptop. Here we go. VChain Sync. Download this, guys, because you can connect your ledgers and all your other, uh, uh, whatever wallets you got with it. And then it will show you how much you receive in VChain and how much VThor tokens that you get for free. Again, essentially, it's like staking. But you're not having to stake. You just, just by holding it in a wallet, they give you what, a wallet that accepts VChain, VThor. You will receive V4 tokens for free. And if you had 20,000, and again, like the thing with v, uh, V4, it's been lowest for the longest time. I'm just going to grab it up real quick. But um, who knows? It might go up in price in the future. But I've been holding on to my V4 for the longest time. Uh, longest time. Sorry, get my words out. And uh, yeah, I'm just hoping that, you know, it does see a good significant pump along with VChain. Uh, it has actually risen quite a lot since since uh v4's been oh, sorry v chain's been going because it was down here for the longest time and only now it's starting to see some little pump i mean look how high it was back here <laughs> back in 2018 it was two pence tell you what if it goes to two pence again i would be happy with that because i've got so much of that <laughs> i'll just sell it and get some nice couple of grands but uh yeah you know it's sitting on zero zero three at the minute which is probably zero zero four cents zero zero five cents fragments of a penny is what we're talking but 20,000 would give you 
every day zero uh, eight point four, every week fifty eight, every month two hundred and sixty. Every year you're getting around three thousand and sixty six V four tokens. Again, I I just don't know the potential of this and how high it's going to go. I know it's a a, a very um, I don't know if it's their governance token. Someone please drop your comments down below if you know about this, if it's their governance token for v VeChain. I do know it's heavily used. And it might be used as gas for their project. I don't know. I need to look into it a bit more. It's been a while since I've looked into VeChain in relation to the coins and what it does. Excuse me, I've got some burp action there. But yeah, they give you V4 tokens. And you can sell these at any time that you want. I've just been holding them for dear life. <laughs> holding on to that boat <laughs> as it sinks <laughs> we're gonna take a breath take a breath <gasps> you know straight up i'd be dead on that boat <laughs> because I, and not only is it sucking me down i got i gotta swim up with my big fat belly holding my weight down even more <laughs> okay i'm just gonna shut up talking too much <laughs> i love the titanic you know you've seen that there's a boat jack there's a boat <laughs> Okay, but yeah, that's how um what I think I'm gonna say that's how I think that's what I think of V Chain in relation to stake in V4, and I actually think V Chain uh, twenty thousand tokens would be enough for the average person anyway, because like I said, one pound that's what I'm calling for, and if it did go to two pound, that's forty thousand pound. If it went to three pound, that's sixty thousand pound. So you know, it could be life changing for some, especially for people that you know have been struggling like I have in my past. Obviously, I'm a bit more better off now. But yeah, I think 20,000 uh, V-Chain could be enough. I'm going to leave it here. I'm not going to ramble on too much anymore. Just wanted to open your mind to this to see if what you guys thought is 20K enough. I think it's enough. If you liked this, please drop a like and give me a subscribe. I want to do a very special thank you to my patrons. Shout out to you guys as well. I always, uh, get my words out. I always appreciate you guys watching my channel. Really appreciate it. Shout out to Daniel Atkins, Toy and Ottery, Glenda, It's Time, Cora Black, SM, I Dry, Tassin Wahi, Tony Dam, Marco Costanti, Scott Vu, Jazz, Azari, Michael, AJ, Frank C623, Clarence Dennison, sorry, Clarence Dennison, <laughs> say your name again, and Honcho the First. Thank you so, so much for your support. I really appreciate you. Uh, and all the new patrons, I see you as well. Thank you so, so much. If you guys want to become a patron, you're welcome to do so. I'll always put the link in my description. I help you, you know, guide you with when to buy, when to sell. You can talk to me about what coins you have, and I'm happy to talk to you uh, with it and stuff. I've got seven tiers, guys. Have a look through. See which tier is best for you. Uh, I would always recommend going for my buy, sell, stake alert, so you can see exactly when I'm buying and selling. It will help you on your journey. I'm going to leave it here. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Cheers.